Hello viewers, welcome to another very interesting MATLAB tutorial video. In this video, I will be going to tell you how to import data from Excel file as well as from the text file directly into the MATLAB and then how to manipulate and work on that data. First of all, I am using MATLAB R2016 A version for this tutorial. This is the default interface of the software. The first step to import the data is to select the path or the address at which these files are located. So my files are located on the desktop. Therefore, I am going to select the desktop here. Now it will set the path for the files you can see all the files on the desktop appear in the current folder window. Now there are two ways to import the Excel or the text file. The first and the very simple one is directly double click on the file. This will open a pop up window in the MATLAB interface in which all the data in the Excel file is extracted directly into the MATLAB. Here you can see that you can also name the variable by selecting the row number. For example, all the variable names are already placed in row 1. So I have selected 1. So now I have 5 variables. So here you can see the range of the data you are selecting. Here by default, the software has selected the entire data present in the Excel file from A2 to E23. Or you can also give the custom range in order to select the custom data you want to work on it. Then comes the column vector numeric matrix. It means that if we select this column vector, then all the variables will be the column vector. So we will have five vectors which are column vectors. And in this selection, import selection, you can either directly import data or you can also generate a function which you can use later in your code in order to import that data. So I will go with the import data. So this message will show that all the variables have been imported in the MATLAB. Now close this window. Now you can see that all the five variables are appear as the column vector of the dimension 22 cross 1. It means that all have one column and 22 rows. So what will this command do? This command will display all the rows and the first column. And here you can see all the entries in this variable. Similarly, you can also give custom selection to this variable. For example, Right now the customer name variable has 22 entries. Now I will generate the same variable with dimension from one, to one row to fifth row and first column. Now the customer name has a dimension of five cross one. It means that it has only five entries. Now another way to import the data is directly by clicking this import data menu and then select the path of your file. Again a similar pop up window will open. And now if you want to select some of the data in the table, you can do it by pressing the mouse button and here you can see the range is automatically selected. Now you import the data similarly as I have previously done. Now the same variables have been generated but with a dimension of 5 cross 1 instead of 22 cross 1. Now quickly I will now import the text file in order to show that this will be done exactly in the same manner as I have done with the excel file. Import data. Now we have to select the text file. Here you can see that there are two columns and many rows. Now we'll only select 10 rows. So the range is selected. The variables are defined by row one. Again, 
the variables will be in the column vector and now we will import the data. So now we have two variables generated id and egf baseline and now we can work on these variables exactly the same as we have done previously. So I hope you clearly understand how to import excel file and the text file directly into the MATLAB. For more interesting videos stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.